Uh, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We recently shared our turkey and chicken feed mixing formula and we added charcoal to our feed mixture and many people have been asking us why we chose to add charcoal to our feeds. So in today's video we'll be discussing the benefits of charcoal to your turkeys or to your chicken and basically livestock at large. If you're into livestock farming, uh, this is something that you should not miss on adding into your feed. Please uh, watch the video until the end so that you get a comprehensive understanding of this charcoal supplement uh, for your turkeys or chicken. Uh, we will also be sharing how much charcoal you should be putting into your turkey feed uh, to get the best results. So please endeavor to watch the video until the end uh, so that you don't miss on any part of the video. Uh, guys, charcoal is going to be able to help you prevent coccidiosis in your turkey flock. If you regularly add charcoal to their feeds, uh, you may actually not get to a point where you, you realize that your turkeys are having coccidiosis. Now, coccidiosis is going to be identified by uh, brownish uh, kind of orangish droppings in the early stages and then uh, of course once the disease is in its uh, late stages you're going to realize that you will see some blood stains in the droppings of the chicken now at that point uh, coccidiosis is actually very dangerous to your animals uh, you should act very fast to be able to prevent uh, having mortality in your farm. Uh, the other thing guys is that uh, when your turkeys or chicken have coccidiosis, they will not be able to give you eggs. So if they have been giving you very good amount of eggs, once they get this coccidiosis, the egg production is going to drastically reduce. And even sometimes they may stop uh, laying the eggs until this kind of disease has been cleared. Uh, so guys, how is charcoal able to, to prevent uh, coccidiosis? You know that uh, coccidiosis is uh, caused by uh, internal parasites that release some toxins into the system of your turkeys. This charcoal has some properties that enables it to be able to absorb these toxins from the system of the turkey. And that way, it is able to assure that uh, actually your uh, turkey does not get coccidiosis. Uh, this charcoal supplement is able to suppress and eliminate uh, these internal parasites from your turkeys so this is something that you should regularly include into your feed uh, to be able to benefit from its properties uh, guys the other thing is going to be that uh, this charcoal actually improves the digestive system of your birds now charcoal is known to absorb uh, harmful toxins from the body uh, this actually guys leads uh, into you having some healthy birds and when your birds are healthy this means that you're going to get more eggs uh, because it means that uh, your birds are going to be eating well, uh, they will be bringing well, and they are not having any form of uh, disease. Actually, guys, as you may know, the biggest cost on any poultry farm or a turkey farm per se is going to be your feed cost and the cost of medication. So if you're already cutting off uh, the use of antibiotics by actually using these natural remedies that can be found in nature, then you will be saving uh, some money. Uh, actually guys, charcoal is both used in humans and veterinary medicines uh, for the same purpose of uh, actually absorbing uh, toxins from the body. In my community where I live, actually guys, uh, charcoal is given as the first line, first aid uh, to anyone that has been suspected to eating something that could be poisonous. So this is how actually very useful charcoal is and actually it has also been used in humans. Now charcoal also is going to assist you guys with increase in egg production. The biggest obstacle to achieving a high rate of laying in your chicken or turkey flock uh, is going to be if your turkeys guys are on some form of on off a disease kind of situation. So if your birds are getting sick regularly it means that their egg production is not going to be good because like we have already discussed, if it's either that uh, your egg production is going to go down or they are going to completely stop laying until are healthy again. So it's going to be important that uh, you be able to prevent uh, your bodies from getting sick because uh, once you get into that kind of situation, then your production might be affected until uh, when you have gotten out. So guys, if you don't want to have a smelly turkey house or chicken house, uh, the charcoal is going to reduce the amount of ammonia in the droppings of the chicken. Uh, the other thing that also this charcoal can do is that if you just get it and mix it within your bedding, it is also going to help with uh, ammonia forming into uh, the bedding. So it's also going to eliminate that. 
So it can be two ways, uh, but also it's uh, important that you actually put it in the feed because the ammonia comes in uh, from the droppings within the bud itself. So actually trying to manage it before it even gets to your bedding will be the best option. So guys, how do you know that actually your uh, turkey structure or your chicken structure has a high concentration of ammonia? Now it's going to be that if guys, if you can't stay within your turkey structure maybe for about 30 minutes uh, that should actually tell you guys that your the living environment within your turkey structure is actually not good even your birds are not comfortable living in that form of environment so at that point is when you should actually act uh, because it means you you really have a problem so guys the other thing is that uh, charcoal can also assist you to remove worms from your turkey flock now charcoal is uh, is very good at uh, eliminating internal parasites uh, from your turkey birds uh, this can also be used uh, routinely to deworm uh, your birds uh, like organically if you don't want to use uh, chemical medicines to deworm your birds uh, this is something that you can use and guys like you already know uh, organic farming is now the new trend and for anyone to benefit from a new trend you must catch it first if you get onto the trend late then you find that the guys who caught it early have actually benefited a lot from it now guys the most common question is going to be uh, how do you then give uh, this charcoal supplement to your birds now there are quite uh, a few uh, ways that you can be able to give uh, this to your birds one is going to be uh, if you just uh, crush the charcoal into a fine powder then mix it in the water and pour it in uh, in your drinkers that's if you don't have an automated water system because if you do have that then this charcoal can end up uh, blocking uh, your tubes or your nipples or whatever you're using uh, to automate your water uh, the other way is just going to be uh, for you to just get that fine powder uh, charcoal and then get a form of uh, a feeder and put it in one corner and then just let uh, the turkeys decide whether they can feed on that or not. Of course, uh, that is not effective. You're going to find that uh, some birds are going to actually resist uh, from eating that uh, supplement, yet they actually need it to be able to grow well. Now, the best way that we have discovered uh, to be the best way to be able to give uh, this charcoal supplement to your birds is going to be guys mixing it in the feed. Uh, because this issue is that uh, all the birds are actually uh, eating uh, this much needed supplement. So this is how we have been giving it to our birds and we have seen great results because all the birds get to eat uh, this supplement. Uh, being uh, young and old, they are all able to benefit from this much needed supplement. So guys, one would ask, uh, what is the inclusion rate of this charcoal supplement into the feed? Now, research has shown, guys, that if you include uh, between 1% to 2% of the total weight of your feed mixture, this has actually proven to actually work well. Now, for us, we have been actually including uh, 2% of the total feed weight into the feed mixture, and we have seen great results. So in this case, if we are kind of mixing, let's say, 100 kilos of uh, turkey feed we include two kilos of the charcoal supplement if we are make, maybe mixing uh, 50 kilos of uh, uh, this uh, turkey feed we include uh, one kilogram of this uh, charcoal supplement now guys the other common question is going to be at what age can you start uh, giving uh, this turkey supplement uh, to your uh, birds now for uh, young birds we actually would like to wait until they have made it to at least one month at that point is when we start uh, actually including the charcoal into their feed uh, but you can play with it and experiment and see uh, what form of results that you get uh, if you try uh, to give this charcoal supplement to young birds maybe starting at about two weeks we will also be experimenting with the same uh, so that we are able to actually update you on how that uh, progressed so guys uh, this is the video that uh, we, we have put up uh, together for you guys because i've been getting uh, so many questions regarding uh, this uh, much needed charcoal supplement so if you've watched the video this far guys uh, please ensure that you subscribe to the channel 
I turn on the notification bell so that the next time we upload the video you, you are notified to come and watch. Uh, please also don't uh, forget to give uh, the video a thumbs up. Also share it with uh, friends and colleagues who are into the same uh, line of uh, raising livestock uh, so that we can actually benefit uh, from this kind of information. Otherwise, uh, see you in the next video.